The very first step when going through and fabricating the bedside table is to make sure that the stock you've chosen is both appropriate and the correct size. Now, when I was going through and looking at some of the stock, you notice that this is a bit wider because I hadn't chopped, cut it down to size yet, but you'll come through and you'll notice that there's a big knot here with some chip out there. And I instantly thought, I don't want to use this for the project. Now, sometimes defects are really beautiful and can add detail and texture to a piece, but sometimes they're not. And in this case, I definitely don't want this in my legs. And if you're seeing a piece with a defect on it that you don't like, please, because this is a classroom situation, put it to the side and grab another piece or come and see me and we'll get choose another piece, which will make your life a whole lot easier. Now, we need our timber and we've got four legs, so we need four pieces of timber. One, two, three, four. And the sizes we're gonna to need today is 52 wide by 35 deep by 600 long. That was 52 wide, 35 deep by 600 long. From there, you're gonna go through and you're gonna name your pieces. Now, normally in the past, you've gone through and you've used your sharp lead pencil. Now remember, a pencil must be sharp for you to use it. If it's not sharp, don't use it because it will give you inaccurate measurements. And in the past you've gone through and you've written your name on things. But we're making furniture now. And so we want to move away from using a pencil because it can, it, or does, it indents the timber. And so to stop that, we're actually going to use masking tape. Now you'll write your name on the masking tape before you do it. So you come through, I'm going to use a black texture so that you guys can see what I'm doing. And I'd write my name on the thing, Samuel. Then you would tear your masking tape off, pull it around. Now you don't need heaps of masking tape for this. Tear it off and you're gonna place that on your piece. Checking that. You've gone through and you've now named your things. In the next video, we're gonna take you through how to go through and draw everything up in preparation for getting those tapers going. But for this one, make sure you've checked the measurements for all your pieces, which was 52, 35, 600. And you've got your name with tape written, or your name on tape and stuck to your pieces to ensure that they don't get stolen by someone else in, in the class.